This time on Custom Works, the meat wagon is out on the CGI road. Oh yeah. Okay then, so Meat Wagon is not finished, not by a long way, but we've got to turn it round on the ramp. So I'm going to give it a, 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 a bit of a drive, obviously all in CGI, uh, none of this is real. In fact, a lot of this I, I hand drew, like that aha video. Oh yeah. Right then, let's see how it goes. Wow, being in this virtual reality world, crazy. But doesn't the van look strange out on a virtual street like this amongst normal cars? Really does look really, really different. Like joking aside, my God, like sometimes in there, I think, is it a bit boring? Yeah, I've, I've seen it a lot. But like the minute it's out here, it's like, good Lord, it's weird. Just take it, I, th I think let's take it for a drive. So check it out, the meat wagon actually on the road, actually from the back it looks a little bit like rusty off battle box, but that aside, looking pretty good though, we've even got an indicator, it's unbelievable stuff. Doesn't look 
look anywhere near as sort of uh, rolly and sort of, um, you know, unwieldy as I thought it would. problems on them wheels. Can you believe it? Ta -da! Well here it is. The meat wagon in all its glory. Now I've never seen it outside before obviously. I've always seen it like this close. I've never really seen the whole thing. And I'm pretty pleased with what I'm seeing. I like, you know, I like the patina. We've been around the block. Can you believe this wheel has no clearance issues and it's got this crazy like um, lock to it as well. Look, <laughs> top rod legend Lee Cox. What's cooking today? Burgers. Woohoo! Just to see it out, I'm, I'm a little bit lost for words actually because it does look just great sitting there. I'm particularly pleased how the aluminium looks. I you know, it really, even up close, yeah, it looks like some old aluminium. The body works good as well. And of course, this is it up on the air. This is in the air, sort of at like off-road driving height. Don't forget that all this nearly sits on the ground. But as the compressors aren't actually fixed up at the minute, I could get to the point where I lower it so much, I cannot get back into my drive and back to the workshop. So I'm not gonna drop it down now. That will have to be in the big reveal at the end. Of course, there's no interior, the back's unfinished, but we know it drives, it drives all right. You know what, it just drives like, um, just drives like a taxi. They all seem to just drive like a taxi and all the weight and everything seems to make no difference. I think there's just a ratio in the auto box that will just pull and pull and pull all day long. And I think that's why you just never feel anything, even with all this stuff on the back. But don't forget, all this stuff is just fiberglass, so it's not as heavy as it would be if it was all made in metal. So when we were taking it round the block in the virtual world, uh, the world of virtual reality, we did park round there and while it was parked and we were filming it, I did look and there was loads of water coming out from underneath and I thought, oh no. But then we looked under and it was coming like from the right from the back of the gearbox at the back of the engine and like there's no water there. There's just no water there. So we've come back. Hot Rod legend Lee Cox has done some investigation and a level three diagnostic and found that all that water that was absolutely just lagging out the bottom of the uh, van was from, yeah, it's the old window washer. And uh, why is it tucked down there? Because I cut it off when I stripped the car and then I've never put washers through this bonnet. So there it is. And somehow that had started siphoning just down the side. It was just all running down the back. It's now empty. And uh, you'll find a lot of the time, empty is when most leaks stop. So yeah, I think once we've di redirected that up the windscreen, it will be a lot better. But for a minute there, I thought we might have to do an engine repair and that's just unheard of on the 2.7 Nissan. Well, that's it. Fun's over. Back to the workshop, back on the ramp. This. You know what I mean? There, there, there's a whole kitchen worth of appliances in the back of this that need some gas. So we're going to get it back on the ramp and we're going to gas it up and um, try not to be too sort of jubilant over this um, amazing first test drive where other than that um, windscreen washer thing, pretty much nothing went wrong.
I'm worried about saying that, like I'm going to jinx the past, but I don't think that's possible. But it does seem like, yeah, this went pretty well. It got round the corner, um, it travelled at a decent speed, the engine will still pull all of this. So, happy days! Let's get to the workshop. Well, to the work ranch just down there, you know. And so underneath the meat wagon, we've got like a lot of pipes and mainly the thing we're worried about is this, which is the gas line. Now, I was told that I could have a manifold under here and then I'll have a small pipe, small length pipe feeding the manifold and then all the pipes go off. But now I've been told I need to be able to isolate each individual appliance inside the truck. So... I'm gonna run, I'm gonna get rid of one of these and I'm gonna run one pipe in and then manifold off that to all the appliances. Everything on this is like jumping through hoops. And just like with the airbag thing, everyone's an expert and no one knows nothing. Cause I, I was told I could put flexible um, hose in here for the coffee machine because the coffee machine's like classed as a portable device. But the bloke who's doing the testing, no, 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 that cannot be. So I've got to change this as well. It really is a lot like the air ride thing. You get told one set of things, and then it turns out a whole other th set of things is actually what you do need. So we are redoing a bit today, but it seems um, there's no just one place with the whole law for a commercial vehicle with gas in it, doesn't it seem? It seems like that is held from you probably to make you buy more compression fittings so i'm going to get on with that and hopefully we'll have some sort of gas system in by the end of the day that has got some chance of passing the inspection that it's got to have hey there you want to have a great t-shirt you want to look as cool as me that sound like sound like a threat but it's not you could look this cool wearing this t-shirt says all this on the back who wouldn't want this? They are now for sale at the knockdown price. Well, this is, and believe me, this is because they've been so incredibly popular. What we're gonna do is we're gonna sell them for, for, for half the price because when something's popular, lower the price, increase demand. Not that there's not been any demand, don't get me wrong. But anyway, if you wanna buy one of these t-shirts, just 10 earth pounds. That's it, 10 earth pounds. That's all it's gonna cost you. So. Buy one now. Yes. How you doing? Okay, so we're returning to the logistical nightmare of t-shirt buying. So if you're watching on a PC, click this link here. And if you're watching on your telephone or mobile device, simply click here. And then here. And that will take you to our Etsy store where you can buy literally as many t-shirts as you want. There is no, you might think I'm mad, but there's no upward limit on how many you can buy. So buy, 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 in time for Christmas. Wives, children, babies, dogs, cows, horses, everything, even a snake. The t-shirt works with them all. So buy, buy, buy now. So then, 
That is it for another week. What have we seen? Well, we've seen the meat wagon cruising the streets and proving that that little Nissan engine can pull all that car along. Like, okay. I'll be back next week. I'll be making some more stuff for everyone to look, point, and laugh at. And until then, do all that sort of admins and stuff. Click the like button, the bell end icon, all of that junk. Thumbs up, maybe a comment below. Anyway, that is it. Thank you very much. And good night.